Okay, sir. Tony, you hear me? Can you tell us your name? Uh, my name's Paul Lemos. And, wh and what are you doing down here? What do you do? Um, I've been here the last three days uh, putting up a, a, a stage and a set for a company out of Quebec that were uh, advertising the, their city. Okay. And what did you see happen this morning? Um, I saw... Where were you when it happened? Well, what happened was I was supposed to be at work at 9 o'clock. I got here about 10 till, and as I was coming out of the subway below the World Trade Center, I got to the top, and somebody screamed, uh, they screamed some, there's a, I heard a big boom, and somebody screamed, uh, bomb, and then everybody started running down the escalators, and I kind of held my position, and I saw through the glass windows a bunch of uh, debris falling from the sky, and in between the center, there's like a big globe. It's a, it's a courtyard with a stage, and I just saw stuff crashing down, and I didn't know what it was. So I, I, as everybody was running out, I was by myself. I went outside, and I looked up, and the World Trade Center was on fire. And it was 90, they, 90 I found out later it was like 96 flights high, and it was all this smoke. And um, I started to see people dropping out. You, you, which, which building were you running out of? I was running out of, um, well, the, the subway stations are directly underneath. The, the World Trade Centers, each tower. So you were inside the. World I was underneath the tower. I was underneath. I was at the basement of the Trade Center when the explosion happened. And then when I came out, I looked up. Well, I wasn't in the basement. I was next door to it. I looked up and I saw it. And then out of the corner of my eye, I saw what I thought was a plane. I found out later it was. I saw something hit the second tower. And when I saw that, it just was everything rumbled, and I saw all this fire just shoot out in the sky and stuff started just falling like like it was raining and I I was by myself and I just ran and I and I, I heard underneath the scaffold and I just started selling metal and, and rock and tons of glass just falling from the sky and I was frightened and um, I looked around and the police officer was running by because I, I saw what I thought was a person and I said sir I just saw somebody fall he goes there, there's a lot of people jumping out right now and I said, oh my God. So he says, get over here. So he walked me across the street to that American Express building. And I sat there and as I was sitting there, I looked up and uh, they were trying to get everything in control. It was a uh, fire department, everybody was there. And uh, I started seeing people um, just, uh, they started jumping out of the window and like at the 96 floors, they just started, uh, one at a time from different parts of the building. I just started seeing people just drop, drop, and drop. And uh, I must have counted like 30 or 40 people, you know? And um, as I was standing there, the, the mayor of New York, and I, I, I heard some commotion and I looked and he had just walked up and he had a group of people around him. And he was like 20 feet from me, but I looked at him and, and it's, it, when I looked at him, he had just happened to look up and uh, Somebody was falling from the tower, and he just grabbed his face and he stepped back because it was horrifying. And then um, I was sitting there a few minutes later. There was a boom. I was talking to two fire two firemen. There was a boom, and I was directly at the foot of the trade center at this point. And they heard a boom, and there was uh, there's a. I found out later there's a hotel in between the two towers, the Marriott. I believe it's the Marriott, and it's like 30 flights stories. It collapsed and it just started hidden into the, into this highway and it started coming right at us. So everybody that was working had to run for their lives because it was a bunch of debris. I mean, it looked like, it's like a miniature, it looked like somebody was dumping like a, a construction in, in, into a dumpster, but blow it up like a world, it, just, it, it looked like, like it was a miniature set. It, that's what it looked like. It just was so huge, you couldn't believe that it was anything could be that big. It was like a tidal wave. And it came at us, and we started running for our lives. And uh, people got knocked over. Uh, there was rocks flying into people. I got hit in the back of the head with a rock. And then the smoke caught up to me and passed me. And it wasn't smoke. It was brown because it was the dirt. And it was getting in my lungs, and the rocks were falling in my eyes. And then I, I, got, I got past this bridge here, and that's where it stopped. And when I got there, there were people there, and I was just completely covered in white. I was completely brown, and somebody was helping me get some water because I couldn't talk. And then as I was sitting there, um, a few minutes went by, and I saw all these fire people, fire department men and police coming out, and they were completely covered. And there was a Poland Springs guy who pulls um, water up. And we just start, I just jumped in and started opening these big gallons and giving them to the guys as they came by because they, that I had just gone to it, so I knew that they needed water. And um, I stood there for a few minutes, and then uh, I don't know how much time went by. All of a sudden, I looked up, and about 20 stories below, at least that's what it looked like to me, about 75 flights up, 
below the fire, I saw from the corner, boom, 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 boom. Just like 20 straight hits just went down. And then I just saw the whole, the whole building just went, and as the bombs were gone, people just started running. And I sat there and watched a, a few of them explode. And then I just turned around and I just started running for my life because at that point, World Trade Center was coming right down, right above us. And everybody ran as fast as they possibly could. And I don't know how many people didn't make it, but I know that I went back in there about an hour later. And um, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, I don't know what a war zone's like, but if that's anything like it, I don't ever want to see it because the, the fire the trucks that were there originally were on fire. Windows were blown out. Uh, cars were exploding. Uh, the bridge that overlaps, that goes across, that I was working on is down. Um, there's big holes in the side of buildings that the explosion fired out to. Um, and I don't even want to know about the bodies that fell that they haven't gotten to yet. Uh, so the, the second thing that was falling on you was the second building. Um, uh, well, the, 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 no, that was the second thing. First off, there was the first plane that hit, then the second plane, and then uh, time passed. And then the, the third one wasn't an explosion. It was a collapse of the building between the two because of all the debris. And it got, it got too much weight, so it just collapsed. It's but that, the last one was the Trade Center itself. This first one here, ah. where it just it started. Uh, now they told me afterwards it wasn't explosions. I was talking to one of the architects that they pulled in, because he was talking to me about it. He said, "What did you see?" I said, "I saw the fire, and I, I when I looked up, I saw around the 70. Because the fire was on the 96th floor, so I looked down and it, it happened probably 70, 75. I can't be specific. I looked and I could see the corner, and it, it just started going pop. It just started going boom, 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 boom. And he goes, "How fast?" I go, "Like firecrackers." So the first time you were being dusted off and resting, you then had to escape from that place a second time when yes. the trade tower fell on you. Yeah. And you, you saw it coming toward you? Yes. Um, you what happened? Just down there. Yeah, beyond that bridge. So when I got to a place that we thought was safe, that's why what happened was they had shut it off beyond that bridge. But each time it, the, the building collapsed, they've been pushing us out further because there's more debris. So I was this, on the second one, the first one I was on, by the, on the other side of the bridge. On the second one, it was it was right before it. And when you said it was falling like a set, that was before the first one, before the big building fell, before the trade center. Fell. Yeah, before the trade center fell. But when the trade center fell, it was coming toward you. Well, no, it, the whole thing collapsed and it just and then, but then because, the top because of it tipped over. No, I didn't. No, no, no. no. It, it went straight down. Right. It did, went straight down. But what happens is because there's so many buildings, the debris kind of follows the building lines and then goes into where the openness. So it went right into the street. And all this mess we're seeing right down at the end of uh, on West Side Highway here. What is that? Oh, this? Yeah, I mean, we're down there where there's <laughs> debris across the street. Okay. You see how you got a bridge here? Yeah. The, that's yeah. another bridge. Yeah, the bridge beyond. Yes. And that's the bridge that connected the World Trade Center to that building right there, the American Express Center. And that's the bridge I was working on. I had just worked and on that. And that's where all the debris from above came. It landed on there, and then it pushed it. Sorry, then it pushed itself out towards this way. Okay. Tell me again what you do for a living. I'm a filmmaker, but I was working on a set, building a set for a company. What um, kind of doing set? Doing lighting. Um, it was it, it's, 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 you know Quebec is just. Uh, the, it was a film set. No, 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 no. It was a set for um, a stage. A stage. And, yes, and stage how do you spell your name? L E M O S. L E M O S. Your first, first name is Paul. P A U L. And where do you live? I live in Manhattan. And you were, and where were you to have worked today? Where I was would, it? I was going to be working on that bridge that's collapsed now. That's, that's where the set was going to be? Yeah, well, we already started there. I've been there three days. This is our last day there. We were just going to okay. fine-tune. Okay, great. Thank you. I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, you have a phone.